So, top cupboards. 37 by 86 by 28.5. 86 by 37. That's my end bit, so that's 27.5 by 37. And that, of course, is going to be um, fingered at the top, scribed at the top to fit. That's the back piece. This is two strips of four centimetres by 37. And they are going to go either side of the front like that to give my doors something to shut against. Um, I don't want them rubbing against whatever's either, on either side. So... That's that, and I just need to cut an, another 86 by 4. I think 4 might be enough. I'll check the hinges, and that's going to be the top of my cupboard. So I've literally just copied what John's doing, or what John's done with his, with just having the bottom, side, top, and some supports. Just draw out one more thing, and I can get cut in. My first top cupboard! Square by square bit, obviously so perfect. For the end, a return, just so I don't have to have the door button right up to the end. And again here, this is gonna butt up to the tower I've just put into the kitchen. So I'm gonna start screwing into it. All the pocket holes, because that ain't moving. And then of course this is gonna get screwed up into the metal bars is two there's one about here and then one about here so that's perfect and i'll pop a couple of smaller screws up into the ply that's in the ceiling as well so hopefully that ain't going nowhere and that'd be nice if i can get that in that's going to be closed and then it just needs paint and black if it fits it fits i had to do a bit of titivating at the back well you won't be able to see it anyway because it's right against the back doors but this fits what I might do instead of painting this and get this this one in might work on the kitchen one at the same time. So then at least I'm making all the mess and then I can paint at the same time and that might be a little bit easier. And then I can just get John in cause you kind of need three hands to uh, get this fitted. Even though I did manage to prop this bit up with my head and then this bit up with my shoulder, I might be able to get a free hand in there. But it's exciting. I am wearing my clothes cupboard. Quite befitting really, isn't it? So yes, let me show you what I had to do. It's a bit more buggered up at the end than it was before, but it fits. And like I say, you won't be able to see it. I'm well happy with that. I can see the next one already. I don't want food. I was thinking today, what we keep doing is ordering easy, quick food and then never quite eating it because I can't stop feeding John. What we're doing now is John's gonna just feed himself and I'll feed myself whenever we're hungry. So one person's not egging the other person on because I think we're kind of overeating a little bit. So as I was sorting through my bags of things, because I'm going to start packing stuff in there, I found two packs of slightly out of date, ready cooked pasta and other dolmio stuff. So I've got mustard mayo from France, which is amazing. I've got capers, I've got pine nuts, I've got celery, tomatoes, cucumber, peppers. So I could just make myself like a big bowl of pasta salad. That sounds really good. So, ooh, what time is it? Oh, it's not quite eating time yet. I've got an hour. No, I'm looking forward to that now. I better get going. So there we go. Just a small portion. <laughs> kind of got a little carried away. But you know when you just keep adding things, and it's like, oh yeah, I found hummus. Hummus makes a very good pasta sauce, don't you know? So I've got hummus, celery, cucumber, peppers, um, tomatoes, grated carrot, hummus, uh, blah, 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 mustard mayo, salt and pepper, a bit of rocket, and to top it all off, some crispy fried onions, because why wouldn't you? You get scoffing. I can just keep this on the side and cover it up so it don't get covered in dust and keep nibbling at that all day. Oh, I tell you. Oh, pencil. Skipped a bit. Three cupboards. Bedroom Um, over the main opening door and the one at the back oh, up there the one at the back is for the opposite side with the narrow bit in the door um so they're all done they're painted all the bits are going to get painted these bits you can see here are going to be screwed to the ceiling so i'm not worried about that so yep first coat on and then obviously it's the sand it down give it another coat make it look brilliant blah 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 so that's all good i am as usual covered in paint it is 
five o'clock and we have both worked so hard this weekend different kinds of work i have worked my ass off getting cupboards built and and doors done and all of this stuff and now the top cupboards john's been editing um an epic video about his swedish travels and that's going over on the newly named uh, basically epic adventures channel so if you've not seen it go over and have a look because it's really good it's got banging tunes and loads of drone shots and all the classic john stuff so that's really good but as we are so knackered we're going out for some tea so i've got 20 minutes <laughs> to do something find some clean clothes somewhere and uh, yeah, and we're going to go out and just chill out for a little bit because uh, we need it. And then we're not even <laughs> so we're not even spending the night together tonight. We're going to do that. We're going to come back and we're going to sit in our own respective vans and just chill out because it's been full on. I'll go get ready. I'm tired. Anyway, I've been doing stuff again. I haven't felt for painting and sawing and sanding. So... I've got my three top cupboard doors. That's a little set of pocket thingies to put my undies in. That's my John. And down here are the top cupboards. My little production line is kind of getting there. So tomorrow, the top cupboards are being installed. So I need Mr. Muscle to uh, come and help me. And we can install all of the... Uh, top cupboards. Uh, I've got to flip these over because I've not painted the underside. Um, I'll do them for sing in the morning so then hopefully when they're done I can then go and put uh, and hang the doors and then it's time for me to move out of the workshop and let John have a go for a change. Yes. In it. <laughs> it's a start building. Yes it's John's turn for top cupboards. We're both doing differently. It is weird. We, we talk to each other about how best to do it and what to do and, and John was showing me all the bits he's uh, done for his and I've taken bits of that and then other bits of things I've seen and whatever so we can soon see whose falls down first. I am excited though because as soon as all my top cupboards go in I'm going to start packing because all that sh shit there is mine to go in my van because it all came out of Bumble so I've already been having a bit of a sort out. I've got a charity shop pile, got a vintage pile and I've got a bin. So I've been pretty ruthless with um, a lot of the stuff that I did have in Bumble that isn't going to come over um, and things I've just not used like the whole time they've been in there. And then obviously I've had things that I've bought. I've got to try and find some way to mount my ukulele. I had an idea. So in here, there's going to be a cupboard that goes from there to, oh, come on hand, to about here. And then there's going to be this bit over here. So I'm hoping to find a way of mounting my ukulele so when you walk in the door, it's just going to be there at an angle above the door. I think it'll look really pretty there. Um, and then, of course, you know, I can actually start learning how to play it. So, yes, there we go. Productive day. Exhausted again. Noisy. Noisy husband. Noisy one. He shouldn't even be in here. You know, he came in yesterday. He could literally see me roller in gloss onto the things and he came in and started sweeping and blowing dust around because he thought it was funny to see how much dust is on the front of my van. Honestly. It's that time. Them. And them. Hello, John. Going in there. I don't know why, but this seems like a really big deal compared to all the other stuff we've done. But yeah, show you when it's done. Your lightsaber. So, something to show you. Can you see? Let's move that down actually. So, knicker storage, kitchen storage, and then clothes at the back, whatever I decide to put in it at the front. Four top cupboards. So obviously the one at the back in pink, that's just like a little dropping shelf and I'm just going to put my undies in there. It's not going to take a lot of room. It's the one thing I grab and go every day, of course. Clothes, 
or swap them out or whatever, but easy access to the knickers and stuff. I didn't want to over-engineer them. I didn't want to put a full height cupboard over my head where I sleep in bed because I'm a lounger and I like to sit up and drink coffee. And so I kind of sat and had a bit of a, a mooch and see how high I could do it. And also with the cushion that isn't at the back at the minute, it's underneath, it's there, um, just to get it out of the way. Um, with that along the back, then I sit there as well. I'm my legs crossed with my little tray on and I'll do some work from there as well. So I didn't want much height on this one and I think it's turned out perfectly. I'm really happy with how that is. Um, so, so I've got that, that. This one um, hopefully will have my plates and glasses and things in. So I am thinking of using some of the scraps to make um, bits to kind of box off so I can just sit my... Uh, plates and things into a little box stuff uh, just at the bottom you know just about that high just so I can pop them in there and I can surround that with non-slip matting I've got loads of it uh, just to make sure it stays there so hopefully that will turn into a plate cups and bowls kind of storage thing with it would be big enough to get loads more in there as well this one and this cupboard here is probably going to end up being like wash stuff and bits of things I've got these two cupboards that are still empty and obviously that for my clothes my clothes might end up spilling out into here anyway because I've got lots of them I'm having a cull but yeah so if you're to ask me if I'm happy I'm happy I ended up kicking John out bless him um because I know I know I'm not brilliant at this I am far from perfect I've not done anything like this at all before as you know because you've been coming along with me and uh, he's dealing with a few little bits of things and trying to work at the same time so I keep telling him if he's working he just needs to say no I won't be offended I'd rather him do his work and just leave me to do my thing or me waiting than him being here and he's kind of anxious and his body language is I have got better things to do because he's got work and people are still getting him on the phone when he's dealing with irate people it spills over into his conversations with me and I want to smack him around the face. So that's never good for anybody. So he's in the naughty corner, a.k.a. his own van. Um, and I've done all these myself. I got help with the pink one. Um, and yeah, everything else. They're not quite square. They're a little bit off. There's like a mill off square. I don't care. And I probably will care when I get the doors on and they don't look right. But yeah. So a few bits like here, I kind of missed, misjudged. And I got the, then I got the square and then I, put, I was putting the square in and making sure as I was screwing into the sides and things, I was getting as square as possible. So it's dusty as all, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, like going out clothes, well, you know, actually leaving the workshop clothes. Look, but look at the mess. It's packing day. Well, it's not packing day. We're going to be packing for for a bit. However... Let me see, I've got my fridge on, just because now I'm outside, I will be doing a lot more work work and and yeah, getting getting loads of bits of stuff done. I've got so much stuff to do. So I'll be feeding myself. I'll just leave John in there, he can feed himself and then if we're having tea together, we can do and that's fine. But look, clothes. There, got me, you don't want to see keks and stuff. And I've used, oh, not that one. So I've got some clothes in there and I'm getting ready to put all my toiletries. I've got all of these little boxes from Ikea, you know, just like the little ones that should fit in and make use of all the other bits of space so I could just grab them out if I need to. So yeah, so I've got kitchen things. Um, I've got things to go in the boot. I've got um, obviously all my, my bits of personal stuff to see where I'm going to go. I think I'll have enough room. Famous last words. However... What do you think of that? I mean, how lovely is that right there? Obviously, I'll just take my jacket off. I just put my jacket there to cover up the diesel heater screen. So yeah, that's so I made the brackets myself out of uh, leftover 18 mil ply. That there just pops down and I can take it out. It's all carpet lined, so it's all nice and soft and will look after the ukulele. It's not, it's not tight, but hopefully it means that it's not gonna jump around too much that i did all the cupboards and the doors and put things on yesterday and <laughs> that seems to be the thing i'm most chuffed about 
it's all getting there now like i say fridge is on and yeah exciting stuff so john's now got the workshop john's making me dinner which is good we're having jack potatoes with cheese and beans but yes very excited i've got my bike in the back there just so i can see how much room i've got left to put all my other things to see if then i've got enough room to slide my fridge in and out i don't think i will but I'm more than fine with that. I was going to have it as a little seat regardless. It would, the, sleep, the seat would slide in and out if I was going to do it. But it looks like my bike takes up just a little bit too much room where it is. Because it just sticks out a little bit too far. So whether we play around with that, see if I can fit it in without having it folded. I might be able to have it fit in lengthways with the handlebars folded down and just strap it in somehow. But this is the fun part, isn't it? It's just figuring out where all your stuff goes and what to do. And try not to let your head explode along the way. With a quick brewing hand, as always, I shall leave this video here. Thank you so much for joining me with the installation of my top cupboards that I am ever so excited about. And obviously, I've just got the fun part now of trying to figure out what I'm actually going to pack in them and where and whether, essentially, whether I've got enough room for all my stuff. I see a big clear out in my future. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you, as you know, but I will never stop telling you. Hope everyone's had a good week so far, and I'll be back next time with some last-minute things, some different details to get sorted. The list is endless, so there'll be stuff to do. So, yes, take care, guys, and I shall catch you on the next one.